Hello and welcome to this new video. This video is again about color spaces between Blender and After Effects. And first of all, thank you for all the positive response on the other videos. I honestly had no idea that there aren't that many videos on color spaces in general for this topic. And so I'm making another video because in After Effects 25, the OCIO module is now directly integrated into After Effects. So the workflow changed a bit. Now I have my simple scene set up. We have a very reflective material on it so we can easily compare the highlights like last time. And before we actually head over to After Effects, I'm rendering in EXR, which means we are getting a linear file. I'm rendering this also with 32-bit, which is also a very important detail. Over here we have the color management settings in Blender. For the actual rendering process that we are doing, this tab is completely unimportant because we are rendering in a linear color space. Specifically, Blender renders in linear Rec. 709. We aren't applying any view transform, so whatever you set here, be it AGX or whatever, it, it, will, it won't change anything. Because for linear exports, there are no tone mappings or anything else applied, because that would defy the whole purpose of rendering in a linear color space. The settings here are still important though, because we want the render to look the same in After Effects as it does in Blender. So in After Effects, we have to use the same view transform and look if we are using a look, like in Blender. Blender's new standard view transform is AGX, which has very great representation of highlights and like detail in shadows. So let's head over to After Effects, where I already have this set up. First of all, the way you can easily check if your color space is correctly set up. You can save your render as an EXR and as a PNG. When rendering with PNG, your view transform in Blender becomes important because this view transform is applied to your rendering. Since we had the AGX view transform enabled in Blender, that means that this PNG has this view transform applied. Now in this scene, you can see that my linear is looking exactly the same besides the shadow, which are overlaying. So they are appearing darker. And the, way we, and the way we correctly set this up goes as follows. For your PNG, if you want to compare, you simply go to interpret footage, main, and set preserve RGB, which disables all color management. So it bypasses all color management. So you are looking at the true AGX as RGB. For the EXR linear, as you might've guessed, we are using linear Rec. 709, since that is what Blender exports. And now we go to file, Project settings, color. And here you need to import your custom OCIO configuration, which is the exact same as always. You go into your Blender file, then into your version number, data files, color management, and here's your config OCIO. I'll paste this in the description. Make sure this is set to 32 bits. I think for me it was set to 16 bits, so I had to change it. Um, if you don't do this, your highlights will look off. Our working color space needs to be set to Rec. 709 since that is what we are exporting from Blender. Now here personally, I like to turn this to none. You will see in a bit why. So let's turn this to none. Press OK. And then click on the EXR linear. Go to Effects. And for you, this will now look like this probably. You will, it will look completely off. It's way too dark. The highlights are wrong and all that. Um, if you remember from the last video, you need to apply an extractor plugin. Just type in extractor so that After Effects knows this is an EXR file. Then select your composite or whatever you want to view. And then you need an OCIO color space transform. So just type in OCIO color space transform. And now this is pretty simple actually. Our clip is linear Rec. 709 because that is what Blender exports. You can look this up, they even have it on their website. The standard color space format for EXR is linear Rec. 709 inside Blender. And we want this to look exactly like we have it in Blender. So obviously our output color space needs to be AGX sRGB. So if we enable this, this now looks exactly like the PNG. You could avoid this. You could turn this off and go to project settings, color, and set this to sRGB AGX and it will also work. It's fine. You can do it, you can do it both ways. I just like to have my effects here. I don't really like going into the project settings. Um, 
I'd say it's probably normal that with color spaces sometimes you can make an error and you're trying to find a solution for it. So you are trying around different color spaces or whatever. And I find it annoying to go into the project settings every time to change the output color space. Um, but in this case it's nice because I can only apply this change for this clip here and our basic PNG is unaffected by the whole view transform otherwise this wouldn't really work well. So yeah, um, that's it. If you have questions, write them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.